Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching Transport Fever just outside Barcelona as we're back on the Metropolis map um, to, uh, well, try and build a metropolis fundamentally. Um, and uh, I've immediately found that we've got train trouble. Uh, I don't know why they, they do the things they do. Uh, it's 1899 and uh, train 27 that we're looking at here and train 31 are, uh, are having some form of uh, some form of crises. Now, as we uh, as we look at the situation here, what is incredibly obvious is that this one is on the right side of the track, and that uh, this this little fella here uh, is going the wrong way. Um, well, there's oh, flipping heck. The, uh, oh, the so the, um, the this this track is is badly constructed. Oh, look at the tailback. Okay, right. I need to fix that now. And then maybe we can undo the tailback. Right, where do you go? You go Barcelona, Indianapolis, which is uh, over there. Right, okay, fine. Um, hmm. I, uh, chances are it's because I changed the, the routing of this line for it to go into a different platform, or it, it just decided uh, of its own volition to go into the wrong platform. Either way, it's going into the wrong platform. Uh, and so uh, so we'll put a switch on here, and, uh, and that should... Uh, I should sort it out. Choo choo. Um, right. Okay. Smashing. Now then, we've uh, we've connected every t uh, every town on the map now, uh, which is uh, which is tremendous. We've connected. Ev there we are. Look. See. Look. It is here. It was just hidden by trees. No, it's not it. Yes, it was hidden by trees. You, you don't confuse yourself. You'll just get concerned. Uh, where is the the Wellington Shanghai? Uh, Fandango par excellence. Uh, here we go. Carrying two passengers. Excellent stuff. Um, and uh, and we're going to take a break from, from doing uh, passenger stuff today. Uh, we're going to have a look at goods. It's high time that we started shipping goods to, uh, to another town. And uh, so stick around and, uh, and we'll probably make that happen. Now, pretty much every line we've got would probably benefit from having a couple more trains on it, but uh, we're not made of money. I mean, after all, uh, money doesn't grow out of port barrels. Uh, so, uh, so we're going to shift our focus temporarily and then come back and, uh, and increase the, the, the frequency and the volume that we're running on different services. I, I, was, I was really rather just enjoying this, uh, this pretty scenic route we've got here. It's jolly scenic, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's see if we can't uh, get a bit of Colonel Cam action to be distracted. Oh, look at that. Uh, just before we be, before we press on. There you go. Look, yeah, feel the mystery and the uh, and the supreme elegance of it all. And the trees. And the train. Right, okay, back to work. Uh, right, now then, uh, we have our uh, central hub here. I've got to do one quick stop off before we crack on. Sorry, just remembered. Uh, but it's in from the root names. Show me. Ah, you. You will be the one. Uh, I have been requested by the population of Indianapolis to refer to this as Indy. There we go. Uh, there you go. Everybody's happy now. Good. Right. Cracking on. Um, so we've got our major goods hub here, and you know it's it's bubbling along. Someone suggested last time around that I split the uh, the, the oil uh, refining train uh, into two parts. Not the worst idea I've ever heard. However, um, it's not going to. Uh, it's, it's not going to accomplish anything any faster. As much as the frequency will increase, the uh, the actual throughput will be the same, given that that train's exactly the same every time. Um, might help, however, in doing the thing that I quite like it to do. Yes. What's that then? Oh, making sure that every train is going with a full load rather than uh, rather than partial. That might be something we look at. All right. So, but uh, for the moment, that one is on the back burner. What it does look like, however, is that we've currently got. Uh, a food situation. Now you're taking 30, uh, 37 is waiting for Hub's food and presumably we've got more coming in. There's the farm and it's constantly uh, ticking along. Here's our, uh, here's our fleet of steam lorries. Uh, I, I don't think there's a better one than this yet. Uh, freight. There we go. Now, steam lorry is still the uh, the top dog unless you look at the Canstadt of course but uh, they are the uh, the transatlantic equivalents of one another, so there's there's no real benefit to be had in uh, in switching those over. Um, the other thing that is quite positive at the moment is we got the uh, the Mogul Heavy was released at the start of this year, uh, which is ideally suited 
to these uh, these kind of goods routes. So we'll put it into service today. The question is, where am I going to take stuff? So El Paso and Sioux Falls are already uh, are already catered for. Uh, we do food out to uh, no, not to Indianapolis to Krakow. We uh, we supply food there already. So an oil train to Krakow might make sense, but I don't think it does. But there we go. So that's uh, no. You might think it makes sense. I don't think it does. Uh, that's that's all you really need to know about that. Um, so instead, what I think we're we're going to do the mad thing and uh, and head out for Detroit, um, which I'm I'm potentially regretting that as a decision already. Uh, the question is, how am I going to get out there? I mean, I've only got four million quid in the bank, uh, and uh, and this is not the closest station I could have chosen to come into. That said, it's already got two stations on the go, so adding a third station is like, you know, it's <clears throat> muy picante. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's a, that's a, a spicy, uh, spicy approach that we're taking there. Um, so let's, uh, let's start out in a, in a positive fashion by, uh, bleh, by doing something ugly. No, don't do anything ugly. No, no, okay, better idea. Right, let's run this out to there. And then instead, let's uh, let's go with one of these because I'm thinking that uh, that my uh, my goods station would do quite nicely to to slip in here, which means that this second bit of road is is nonsensical. So uh, yeah, so if we do a bit of that, and then uh, we want this to connect up because uh, you know with a bit of luck, if we can drive some industry in this area, as much as we'll be making local deliveries uh, to the local industry. Uh, that uh, that Detroit has, uh, if we can encourage it to start growing up in this area, it makes this this end of town look a little bit less Spartan. Hopefully, uh, let's. I've, I've adopted a curve here. Let's, let's let's just keep it. Get your get your curve going there, friend. There we go. Uh, that's not totally horrible. Um, and then we'll run this down here for the usual. Uh, please, Mr. AI, build some houses here, won't you? There you go. Good. I've, I've thought it through for them. They, they, can, they can figure that out. And then we'll run that one like this. No, because you're going to put a station in there. All right, well, I'll run it like that then. Happy now? All right, good. So, good station. Now, we'll only go... We're only, theoretically, we should only need one. Um, and the fact that I'm doing this now means that I am committing to this as a, as a notion... Uh, which is quite exciting of itself. Uh, right, one one platform and uh, getting in around here. So we'll slap it right up against the road, or will we? No, we won't. We'll uh, we'll we'll bisect, uh, which will hopefully allow a little bit of roadside uh, uh, building later on. Yeah, what do we think about that? Uh, I've seen I have seen worse. Yeah, all right, that'll do. Maybe we uh, maybe we do something exciting with it later on. Uh, right in about there. Okay, right now then, that's that. Uh, so the question is, how am I going to get goods from here over to the here? Now we've got this uh, this troublesome line in the way, and I mean I say it's troublesome. I mean there's not a lot I can do about that. So we're either going to come on and travel with it. Or we're going to uh, we're going to go straight over the top of it, uh, either under or over, as the uh, as the case may be. We do. We I have. I ah. See, I, I evidently last time I had this conversation with myself, uh, I was thinking about Brussels. Well, no, Brussels. Brussels is uh, no, that's uh, purely for Christmas. Um, however, this route, this this bit of line that we've got here, might do the job very nicely indeed. So if I continue going that way, ooh, that's expensive. Let's uh, spend the first 95k and then uh, and then see what we can do to uh, to alleviate that. But presumably that's a bit of a lump. Is that a lump? I mean, not the kind of lump you need to go and see the doctor about, but uh, but it is a lump nonetheless. So uh, if we peel off from there and head over towards our station, which we've just established, I think we're I think we're going to do a bit of crossover track here. You know. I haven't done it yet because I, I I try to avoid these things where possible, but uh, in this case, all right. How uh, how wretched does that actually look? 
Okay, that doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, what, I, what I'm looking for there is, uh, is it placing lumps in the track? Because lumpy track is bad. Um, and we, we seem to have managed to avoid that. To be honest, I don't even need a double track here. Although it might help me out later on if I decide to, to head out to Grand Junction. The difficulty we're going to face then is uh, that uh, that travel times are going to be uh, hellishly long. So that's going to mean either running multiple trains, which is certainly viable, uh, but then you've got to think about, well, actually, how much, uh, how much throughput are you going to get here? So I'll leave this bit of double track in place, um, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll focus down to single as we get back towards our, our primary route here. Is that a smart route to go? Not the smartest, no it isn't. The smarter way would be to come off about here and start our, uh, our move in that direction. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's very little difference in terms of overall distance, but it is a difference nonetheless. So, uh, so we'll save a bit of space where we can, 150k. I could, I could be doing this a lot cheaper if I didn't insist on gouging the ground as every opportunity, but uh, that's that's not the end of the world, right? Now then, we'll pull out the parallel one here, and obviously I've done that wrong because uh, this bit of track connects to the other side. Brilliant. Great. Well, it doesn't really matter now. It will do in the future where I shall uh, I shall reflect on this moment and say, I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, so there you go. You can remind me of that when the time comes. Anyway, that's a route. It works. That's, a, that's clearly a thing. Uh, all that remains is to put some signalling on here to make sure that we're holding up the train that we're less bothered about. Now, given that passengers are our primary breadwinner, or rather they're not. They're, they're, they're more on a knife edge when it comes to... Uh, no, 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 no. You, you, your thinking's sound. You've just done it wrong. Uh, you want these as close as possible to the crossover. And that way, it will only stop my passenger service if there is absolutely no choice in the matter. Also, you don't want that one because that's just, do, that's just trouble. Okay, put it here. There you are, and everybody's uh, everybody's a little bit more pleased with themselves. Okay, that's fine. I mean, as you can see, the the frequency of travel up and down there is not particularly amazing, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we're golden. Right, <clears throat> next. Uh, well, next at this rate, I'm thinking. Well, oh, maybe we should do Brussels as well. Uh, next, we look at uh, a bit of a bit of platform usage here. There we go. All right, blue. What is blue? Because if blue's the important one, which is my big fuel drop-off, then I don't really want to use that line unless I have to. Uh, and no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to need some kind of crossover kind of deal here anyway. So, uh, yeah, I've already doubled that, and that's good. So I have the option of doing one or two as our, uh, as our landing stage. I think I think it's going to have to be blue, which I suspect quite strongly is uh, hubs fueled. Yes, yeah, that's my refining train. So holding that up is is less than ideal. I uh, could add another platform, but I think uh, at this stage, hold, uh, putting another platform in is going to be overkill. So uh, so we'll we'll avoid that. And instead, do we want to disrupt the farm train? I don't. I don't want to disrupt either of them. These are my two big money ticket hefty number fellas. But I don't have a lot of choice in the matter. I mean, I suppose we could bring blue in. I know we could bring blue in over here, couldn't we? Okay, right. So if we look at fuel, Hub's fuel, and we've got that locked at uh, platform two. All right, so if we change that over on a platform three, which I'm pretty sure we can do without anybody getting upset. Anybody upset? No. Good. Uh, and then, oil. Which uh, which track were you playing with there, chum? Thank you. You popped up in the, the most delightful place possible. Uh, right, that can come in. So oil can come in on... Uh, no, it's... No, no, that's already assigned. Orange got its own track. So it's, well, it's either going to be Sioux Falls or El Paso, isn't it? 
Uh, Sioux Falls is red. And it has already decided to take the spare platform, which is fine. Good. Right. So we'll uh, we'll lock that in as law. Uh, platform two. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Thanks for that. Cheers. Nice one. Jolly good. Give me a line manager. And we're going to come in here at platform number two. Right. <clears throat> yes, delivery trains sharing a platform. I've got uh, I've got less problem with, and then we'll head out as far as Detroit West. Uh, Detroit hasn't got its own four letter code yet. That's uh, pretty exciting. Um, I don't know what to go for. Detra, one would imagine. Uh, Detra, because uh, traditionally you'd go with uh, just you know straightforward. Call it Detroit. Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to click the train. I wanted to click on that. There we go. So, Detra Bulk Freight. I have very little hope that this works, you know, because I think we're more or less at capacity. So, uh, what, I'm, what I'm likely to have to do is increase capacity across the board. Not least of all when it comes to the, uh, the delivery of, uh, of, of moo cows up here so that they can go and be turned into uh, handbags, burgers and the like. Uh, obviously, handbags not used for food. Uh, right, let's... Uh, uh, what's next? Next, you do the other end. There you go. You can tell it's been a little while since I've done freight. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna get our distribution set up. Let's have a look at the old uh, yellow map and the blue map. Right. What have we got? And of course, it's flipping miles. It's all the way over there. You know, what I should have done. I should have come over the old Paso Bridge and just brought it out this way. Well, I've committed now, so get over it. Um, yeah, that would have been far, far more efficient. Uh, now, what are you? Yeah, okay. So we've got our housing is mostly here. Here's a bit of commercial, which will use the food, and then the uh, the fuel will get used, I guess, in this bit. It's not very. Uh, it's it's not very contained. So, all right, bang in a bit of road. You can get over there. That's it. You do a bit of connection type behaviour like so and then we can uh ooh, i don't know uh truck stations let's uh, let's try them out and see what sort of coverage we can get here so that's not totally horrible it isn't hitting my primary yellow but it is hitting a little bit of blue uh what if we came down here more blue is i don't like any of these yeah, none of this is particularly lighting my uh, lighting my fires of success. Uh, the, the biggest yellows we've got down there. So, so maybe if we deliver to those, we can uh, we can hit maximum happiness. And to be honest, you've got a bit of blue coverage there as well. So if we do one here, all right, and then we'll put. Uh, we'll, I think we'll go with three. Uh, we'll put another one in here. Now you've got a bit of overlapping coverage going on there, so maybe that's not the best place for it. Maybe ah, I see, yeah, that that's that's probably better. So that's two, and then something that hits all of this good blue stuff, uh, which may involve deleting uh, or rather bulldozing some of said blue stuff. And actually, it's pretty close to the station. How close are you to the station? Not anywhere near close enough. All right. Uh, what if we just did this? Well, you're not delivering to any of these real real sparkly fellas down here, are you? Uh, what about over there? No, nowhere near. That's the one. Okay, now I, I realise we're going to be making some people homeless, but I, I don't often have too much trouble with that uh, in, a, in an ethical fashion. We're going to do it. Yeah, just do it. Just press the button. Okay, the coverage is good enough. It's worthwhile. So we'll put three routes in here, or will we? Yes, we will. One, two, three... Uh, anything else won't work. So line one is going to be uh, Detroit. Wait, you haven't put a <laughs> uh, done everything apart from the one I really needed to, uh, and that's this one, of course. Now then, I wonder, do we still? Yeah, you've still got catchment there. Now we're gonna we're gonna want one of these larger ones. I love this little fella who's who's built his house next to the bridge there. He's going. Oh, I said this a quiet. Got a nice view of the river. Gotta go. Well, you got a nice, nice view of the goods station now. Won't that be pleasant? I'm not going to get that in there, am I? The good news is I could move the road. 
or we could just bang it over here right okay yeah we'll do that uh yeah probably a little closer than we actually needed to be but uh, but so be it right so if we call this we'll give this a better name so this is going to be uh detroit uh goods marshalling it's not really a marshalling center but I, I guess it marshals to an extent uh and then we'll have uh detroit uh commerce uh, what about Detroit? Uh, no, no, you see, you've, you've deleted the whole thing. Detroit uh, mixed. And uh, and then the third one is a little bit more... Uh, look, this is just convenient on my side, all right? Uh, industry. Right, that way I won't get confused when I start banging in roots. So this one, you can go out to industry. That's quite the route you've selected. Okay, uh, number two, you can go from here, marshalling to that one, commerce, and then this one, you can go from here out to there. All right, they do have to make quite the detour to get out to Detroit's uh, delivery areas. I would have thought this way would be smarter. Although, you know, you've got, you've got stations in the way everywhere. Maybe if there was a connection to the bridge here, it, they, it, would have a, it would have a second thought about that. Let's see how much clo how much distance there is in it. If I do that, nope, it's still closer to go around that way. The only thing that will help is if I get a bit of road that goes over here directly, I expect, and then uh, and then hook that. You know, I'm just going to do it anyway. Uh, hook this up onto there. Nope, still wants, still wants to go that way. Um, gets onto the bridge, super rapido. I think I'm far... These are far too close together for me to be able to do my usual pop a bridge over the top trick, but let's have a look anyway. Yeah, too close together. And the platform doesn't end for about a week and a half, so that's not going to help. Uh, although, since we're going to want to come through here at some point anyway, let's uh, let's do it now. Yep, still further away. Okay, well, never mind. I could set waypoints and make it happen that way, but I'm not going to. Um, right, so Detra, uh, this is uh, goods. Uh, no, yes, yes, sure, goods one. Uh, and in a, in a startling feat of uh, creativity, this one's going to be Detra goods two. And, uh, and the third one, which will come as a shock to everybody involved, will be Detra, yeah, yes, very good, uh, goods, wait for it, three, um, good, right, fine, nice, splendid, we're happy here, everything's working, I haven't got any commuter services up in this town, I am said it's a miracle it's doing anything at all, uh, yeah, it is, that's, uh, that's quite surprising, it's got a lot of stations, no, hold on, I, I said it had two stations, it's got one, two, three, four, five stations now in Detroit, well, it really is the city of industry, Ah, that's that's a lot of fun. Uh, we ought to put some public transport in here, you know. Uh, maybe not today. Right, let's uh, open you up. Buy some road vehicles. Freight, please. Steam lorries, please. No. Or do we want a canstat? No, we want a steam lorry. <clears throat> Magic. Uh, right, let's go for... Now then, which is, the, uh, which is the closest? Commerce is by far and away the closest, so I think that is going to be, I think one truck will do the job there yeah i know brace yourself and that's uh, that's goods one taken care of right uh and then when we look at two and three so two is no i would it is two the furthest away industry yeah two is the furthest away so we're going to put three on that uh goods uh two did i say yep two all right and then we'll put two on the other one we will then adapt as we need to. Go, get to work, drive demand, kids, because uh, I'm bringing out a train. And then, at this end, we shall, uh, we shall talk to the, uh, the cheeky depot that we pretend doesn't exist, but we all know it exists, uh, and we'll buy ourselves a suitable locomotive, which is going to be uh, the, uh, the Mogul Heavy. 70 miles per hour. It's almost wasted on this, two and a half million. It's still almost wasted on this route. That is, that is properly quick, that is. 
this will be the, the fastest thing on rails. Uh, when you compare it to the existing mogul, which is, you know, half a million, but it's only 50 miles an hour, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm debating now uh, whether the heavy mogul I would be better off sticking it on uh, sticking it on a, a shorter, slightly more profitable line. Although that said, it's ideally placed to, to work on this route because it is quite a long way. I bought one. There we go. That's the yeah, the fast way to get over it. Freight wagons. Now you're going to need some tank cars. Those are new tank cars. I should make some replacements. This might shorten my trains a little. Uh, one, yeah, two, three, four. I can get four of them. Well, that ain't going to cut it. All right. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a, a box car on there as well. Just one. And, uh, and we'll set that in motion. There is no way this pays for itself, but what it should do is, uh, is seed the route uh, quickly to make sure that we can, uh, that we can expand. I'll put two on there because I felt like it. Uh, right, okay, so this is going to be Detra Bulk Freight. Get to work. All right, here we go. And then we'll have a quick look at the, uh, the overall profitability of the situation at the moment. So here it is. Uh, looks exactly like an existing mogul. Yeah, these new oil wagons. Interesting. Uh, if I were to upgrade my uh, my existing heavy-hitting oil trains here... So what are you doing? You're doing 23 at the moment. Because obviously, by putting that into service as well, by putting a, a better locomotive on there, uh, there's uh, increases in delivery that would be beneficial. And it would probably also mean that I could ditch the double engine setup that I've got going on here. And instead, I'm sorry, I'm ruining everything with all these overlays. Uh, see, and, and this is exactly why we wanted this hub set up in the first place. is so that we could just have, you know, trains as far as the eye could see. Right, how much have you actually picked up here, food train? 91 of 112. Right, and... Have we got anything waiting? We've got nothing waiting. This food route really is not paying for itself yet. I, I was hoping that I'd be able to get... Uh, uh, well, hold on, you're carrying six. Those don't look like steam lorries. I'm probably mistaken. A replacement. Uh, steam lorry looks like that. Okay, they're running can stats. Oh, that's, that's close to heresy. Uh, right, the steam lorry's faster. Okay, I apologise. You've been yelling that for the last 15 minutes, and I only just clocked that actually it's something different. Uh, let's uh, turn that on. Replace them now. 144k. I can do that. Uh, and while we're at it, we'll put another couple of them on there. So, the capacity's not increased. Uh, let's go for another four. Alright, there we go. This is going to be on uh, cattle trucking. That feels like the right line, but we're going to double check it. Yes, it is. Right, you lot. All of you, cattle trucking. Go. And what we shall do is we shall intercept any of you who attempt to go the wrong way. Like you, for example. Other way. Turn around. Turn around. And you, turn around. Tell you what. You can keep going. I, I was turning around for absolutely no reason. Right, there we go. We've got, got something of a drag race going on here now. Uh, I don't, the, the, see, I mean, look at the uh, the acceleration of this traction engine versus this uh, four-wheeled tippy monstrosity that we've got going on here uh, with the fella. I mean, and admittedly, he can't quite reach the pedals with his feet there. Uh, or is it that he is levitating above the seat as well? No, he's got a little padded cushion there uh, to protect his dainty posterior. Right. You, go haul it. Uh, don't get too attached to being part of the network. You're going to be replaced uh, pretty swiftly uh, when your time comes. But as soon as better technology exists, pal, you're uh, you're obsoleted. Okay, so there's just people complaining about connections up there, which is nice because you know the other alternate. Look at this lot. Okay, now I wonder if that's that that potentially is also not helping us much. Well, I mean, let's face it, it's it's not going to be going making it a boon to operate here. I quite like how the, the track is largely concealed by this road, you know. I mean, that, looks, that looks pretty splendid. You should not be getting held up. 
by this steam lorry. What are you doing? 16. You're doing 16. Then what was I looking at that said that it did 12? Am I, am I losing what few marbles I had in the first place? I, I surely can't be... Can't, can't rule it out. Um, no matter. Right, okay. Let's see if I can... I, I'm going to try and uh, replace this. Yeah, I want to re replace this with uh, the heavy. No, you've gone too far. There we go. The heavy, because it's faster and it's got a bit more pulling power. What are we talking here? Uh, 128 tractive and 944 power. Now, here we go. Let's let's kick this debate off again because it's always a giggle. Uh, tractive is going to help its acceleration and uh, in its capability of handling hills. Uh, whereas raw power is its ability to then apply that traction to get up to full speed um, and haul it along. Now, if you had a straight line uh, for long enough, it could eventually hit top speed. But uh, the 27 it's doing right now, I'm not feeling it. Anyway, 944, 128 versus... It, this is not even a competition. Uh, the, the the heavy is uh, is a brute force of a of a gentleman and uh, and as such is welcome on my network. Right, we're currently packing one twelve. Uh, I don't think we've got any options beyond that. I see. Look, it tops out at fifty kilometers an hour, uh, fifty miles per hour. But uh, I don't think we're going to get beyond fifty anyway. So let's try it. Uh, that's seven fourteen twenty eight. Yeah. That's 56, and that's, what, 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's my 112. Right, 5.84 million. If I'm lucky, I'll get a bit of cash back from the one we're running already, but I don't think it's going to be enough. 2.67, it's not enough. Um, all right, we're just going to have to hold on until we've got that kind of money sitting around, just doing nothing. Oh, yeah, here's, here's 2.6 million, just kind of kicking around, not doing very much. Let's look at the damage that we're doing to our bank account on the routes here. Right, the so <laughs> the Sioux so Falls European balloon has got three trains on it and no passengers. I'm basically just paying to run an empty train on that one. Good, 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 good. Uh, the bulk freight for El Paso is fine. It's running a full load. As soon as that arrives, it's going to tick into profit. We'll see that happen with our very own eyes any moment. Uh, the Barcelona Transatlantic is running a quarter full. That's not good. Uh, Eastern Hemisphere Mainline is recently introduced. Um, so that's not so bad. It's only running five, uh, nine passengers on there at the moment. So that'll improve. Uh, Wolverhampton, Shanghai, nobody cares. And it, as much as the problem is down to the, the run times on these lines. Uh, Europe Spinwood uh, is... Uh, uh, so the Euroloop counterspin, I'm going to rename that since it occurs to me now. And that's uh, uh, Widdershins, which is the opposite of Spinwood. Um, yeah, I know. I remembered after being reminded. Uh, there's a the thing. Right, Detroit Bulk Freight uh, has already made its entry into the least profitable uh, segment of our, our network, uh, having burned 131k so far, which is just lovely. And uh, let's look at the good news. Hubs fuel, 3.8. Good. Uh, Brussels, Vancouver, for some reason, is still making good money. Hubs food is a million. Uh, Hubs oil is pushing a million. Uh, we could do more than that if I could turn it around a little bit quicker. Uh, if you heard that, that was thunder. Um, uh, Detroit Rill, for some reason, people want to travel between them. And then you've got Sioux Falls Mainline and Sioux Falls Brussels both of which are doing reasonably well. So that's the kind of half million plus bracket uh, that we've got going on there. Okay, right. Well, I haven't got the cash. We're going to save up for it, uh, probably, I would have thought. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll pick up from here when we, uh, when we rejoin uh, in the next episode. So <clears throat> I do think Brussels is my next stop off. Uh, as much as investing in uh, existing passenger services and getting those line frequencies uh, a little bit more rapido uh, would be a smooth thing to do. Uh, I think the smoother thing at this point is to start uh, pumping out uh, an awful lot of freight um, because uh, because that's going to be a, a nice big driver uh, to, uh, to city growth alongside the passengers that we're delivering. Um, 
that's my that's my objective anyway and uh, and i do hope you join in to watch that happen I'd, I'd hoped we'd have the cash to make so i could just push the button here where's a big train where's where's my nearest big train in fact i'm only looking for one big train oh, it's there look yeah it's gonna be ages uh right there you go i'm colonel failure uh, thank you very much for watching today. Uh, we will be back soon uh, with a little more of the same. Let's go and find our Detroit Rail effort chat friend uh, and see what he's up to right now. In fact, have you got anything waiting? Detroit bulk freight? Nothing. But I do think it may have left recently. Or, well, not recently enough for, the, for me to relax about the situation. Um, yeah, okay, we'll be back soon with a bit more of the same. Thank you for watching. Uh, fling a like at this one if you, uh, if you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on whatever occurs next. Um, which hopefully won't be me dipping casually into another pork barrel investment in order to try and get things rolling. Look, we're doing 50. We've hit the top speed of the loco. That's not a bad place to start. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio!